The Faith I Live By, a devotional by Ellen G. White. The heavens are telling. Lift up your eyes on high, and behold who hath created these things that bringeth out their host by number. He calleth them all by names by the greatness of his might, for that he is strong in power, not one faileth. Isaiah chapter 40 verse 26 God's great book of nature is open for us to study, and from it we are to gain more exalted ideas of his greatness and unexcelled love and glory. He would have his children appreciate his works and delight in the simple, quiet beauty with which he has adorned their earthly home. God calls upon his creatures to turn their attention from the confusion and perplexity around them and admire his handiwork. The heavenly bodies are worthy of contemplation. God has made them for the benefit of man, and as we study his works, angels of God will be by our side to enlighten our minds and guard them from satanic deception. Go out, dear young man, at night, and behold the glories of the firmament. Look up to the gems of light which like precious gold stud the heavens. There is a wealth of glory there, but millions of minds are so obtuse they cannot appreciate this treasure. It is a little bit of heaven hung out before our senses to testify of the surpassing glories within. We are not merely to gaze upon the heavens, we are to consider the works of God. He would have us study the works of infinity, and from this study, learn to love and reverence and obey Him. Every shining star which God has placed in the heavens obeys His mandate and gives its distinctive measure of light to make beautiful the heavens at night. So let every converted soul show the measure of light committed to Him, and as it shines forth, the light will increase and grow brighter. Give out your light, pour forth your beams mirrored from heaven. O daughter of Zion, arise, shine, for thy light is come, and the glory of the Lord is risen upon thee. Isaiah chapter 60 verse 1